Space Agency NASA has surprised everyone by rolling out its huge space launch system, SLS, rocket a few days ahead of schedule. In preparation for the plan August 29, 2022 launch of the Artemis 1 mission to the Moon, and the first test for SLS, the launch vehicle was gradually moved to Launch Pad 39B at NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida by NASA's famous old crawler Transporter 2. Standing 322 feet high, SLS will be the most powerful rocket in the world to launch the since the last Saturn V moon rocket took the Skylab space station into Earth orbit in 1973. It took almost 11 hours for the rocket to make the journey from NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building, the largest single-story building in the world at 526 feet. To the launch pad. The rollout is the precursor to a launch that will mark the beginning of humanity's return to the Moon. The last humans to step on the lunar surface were Apollo 17 astronauts Jack Schmidt and Gene Cernan in 1972. Although the Artemis 1 mission won't be crewed, it will test life support systems using mannequins ahead of Artemis 2 and Artemis 3, the latter of which will take the first woman and the first person of color to the surface of the Moon. Artemis 1 is an uncrewed flight test mission during which NASA's Orion spacecraft, European Service Model, ESM, and SLS will fly to the Moon. The spacecraft and rocket will launch, orbit the Earth, and then send Orion and the ESM to enter an elliptical orbit of the Moon that will see them get to within 62 miles above its surface and about 40, 000 miles beyond it. That's farther than any spacecraft built for humans has ever flown. The mission will last about three weeks with the Orion capsule splashing down of Baja, California just after ditching the ESM. Artemis 1 should launch on August 29, 2022. A launch window opens at 8.33 a.m. EST for two hours. If it successfully launches then the Artemis 1 mission will last for 42 days, with splashdown off Baja, California on October 10, 2022.